Good morning. My kids will think I'm nuts for doing this little YouTube, but I found this idea on YouTube to make um, clear plastic containers from used empty Coke bottles, and I thought I'd pass on how I found kind of an easier way to finish it up. Um, I got the idea from people who have been doing this on the dumps in Rio de Janeiro in Brazil, actually, and uh, I thought it was neat. Um, I do believe in recycling, but I don't take it like it's a religion. But I wanted to pass this on to you, so if you're interested in doing this, you can find useful things for your home. You can take uh, clear Coke bottles. They have to be a Coke product because of the shape. There's a tension and a shape that you have to work with. Pepsi and all doesn't work. I don't have a preference for one or the other in terms of drinking. Um, and what you're going to come up with is this. And I'll show you how it's done. Makes a nice tight little container. This is the two liter bottle. I put some vitamins in here and tore the label off and labeled them. You can then open up one side and just pick out a vitamin. This, these are craft rocks, stones. Notice they don't come out. It's a nice tight hold. You can actually toss it, roll it. If it drops, it doesn't break like baby food jars. This is the one liter bottle. And of course this is the single bottle. This is uh, vitamins also labeled. And the same thing, you can just pour out or put in Tylenol, whatever. Now these are not uh, waterproof, they're not humidity proof, and they're not little bug proof. However, if you're like me and you have uh, items in your garage uh, as a pantry, I put in things in these like uh, bags of beans and it keeps mice out of them. Things that are little, that are bagged up, I keep them in the bag and then put them in here and then mice don't gnaw on them. Um, you can also take part of the bottle and make a little uh, riser. So if you're putting them on shelves, you can have some at, low, at a low height and then these are a little higher so you can look in and see what you've got. The clearness of these bottles and the way they last and don't break makes them really ideal. So this is how you do it in a nutshell. It's not hard. You take your bottle. You cut it in two beneath the label. Then you take a rubber band, and this is what I've not seen anybody else figure out, and I think I, this is why I'm doing this, to pass this on. You take a rubber band, and you put it evenly at the waist of this bottle. And you'll see what I mean by the waist. It goes in a little bit. At the waist is where you cut. There are indentations. You cut every other one so that there are five of them down to the waist. Very simple. When you've cut all five of them, try it out first. Then you'll see, when you see that it works, because sometimes one might be just the tiniest bit off and you have to readjust it. Fold it up. Occasionally they're a little bit off, so you just take your fingers, press down, and it just sort of finishes it off. Um, and so you have bottles like that. You can, some people, you could store um, delicate Christmas ornaments one at a time. Um, you can just do, you know, tacks, thumbtacks, things you don't want to get stuck on. All sorts of things, and it's clear, and you can toss it, and it's, you know, you could put things in to move, little small things. So I just thought I'd pass on the idea how easy it is to make uh, sometimes they'll, they won't turn out exactly right. You will, um, you, know, you can cut it just the tiniest bit and it won't be exactly right. So, you know, count on, you know, at first having every other one not work quite right. And then you can do something else with that bottle. Um, but sooner or later, especially with the rubber band, you won't have as many errors and off you go. You'll have fun thinking of things that you can store and find later on. Alrighty, thought I'd pass it on. Bye.